What's up guys, today we are going to be reviewing the movie Cafe Society. Let's see if we can get that in there. This is from IMDb. A story about in the 1930s, a young Bronx native moves to Hollywood where he falls in love with the secretary of his powerful uncle, an agent to the stars. It's basically a love triangle, a very interesting love triangle that takes place in Los Angeles. In introducing those characters, you have Jesse Eisenberg. You may know him from The Social Network. Uh, he was just in the Batman vs Superman movie. He plays the main character who is the nephew of that powerful agent. Kristen Stewart, uh, who plays the female lead in the movie. Obviously she's from Twilight. I think she just did like a crazy Snow White movie, like a Demented Snow White movie or something like that. Um, so she's in it. And then you have Steve Carell who plays the tycoon agent. And then you also have an appearance by Blake Lively, who's smoking on it, so that's also another reason to watch. <laughs> She's not bad to look at. Yeah, not ever. So as far as ratings for the movie are concerned, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 73, while IMDb gave it a 7.1. Which that's I a little low. Yeah, that is a low. little low. I could not agree with that. And in our opinion, we both felt like it should have got at least, if we're going out of five, four and a half stars out of five, if we're going out of 10, a 9 out of 10, because the movie was really spectacular in a lot of different ways. So in this case, Rotten Tomatoes, I don't agree with you. But I don't say that a lot. I love Rotten Tomatoes. Overall, something that I know a lot of people care about is the length of the movie. It runs an hour and 36 minutes. In my opinion, it was just right. Uh, the perfect ending to a great story. I think that it should have been about 10 or 15 minutes longer, only because it was just that great of a movie. Okay. Um, you know you're in two, right? Yeah, we're making a freaking video. And we're coming in a second. Yeah, we should put that in. Oh my god. Overall, I think the timing is yeah. a okay. It was a great package for the movie, actually. So. And yeah. overall, I think I would give the credit of the movie to the writing and directing from yeah. Woody Allen. Legend. I mean, the the script is fantastic. Mm. We both thought there was very little fat to cut out of the movie. Exactly. Um, in general, yeah, the pace was really backed up by just a fantastic script. I loved every second of it. Bottom line, in my opinion, it's a, it's a must-see. I think anybody who can appreciate a good story would appreciate this movie. When we got to the movies, there was literally max 15 people. And the craziest part is, we were by far the youngest people there by like a good 30 years. So it goes to show the kind of audience that the movie really should draw. It's really for a more mature audience. An audience who's been around the block with these films a couple of times who really understand the little elements that make up a film. But again, I'm recommending you to go see it because it's actually a really good story that I think a lot of people will enjoy. One of the themes that kind of spoke out to me a lot was really a selfish, unrequited love that kind of affects every character in the movie. How selfish love can be at sometimes because, you know, I think when we think about love, we don't really understand the true elements of love. The fact that it's really okay to love two different people if those two different people show qualities. Not at the really, same time. Yeah, not at the but, same time. Yeah. But, you know, we're human. We're going to love different people at different times. There are selfish elements of love that every human has to go through. On the other side of the coin, I think the movie has a lot to do with the compromise of love. Mm -hmm. How you have to not always get exactly what you want. Yeah. It's just that not everybody can be that thing for you. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you have these experiences with these people, but you have to think of the best compromise. What's the best deal? Not everybody's going to be perfect, and people come into your lives at certain points for certain reasons. Exactly, that's a big one. And I think that one. was really well developed throughout the film, start to finish, is just love compromises in many different ways. The main character's experience with their compromise says a lot about their character mm -hmm. in general. And it helps their character grow as well. You know, we see huge, tremendous character yeah. growth. I love that about the movie. Yeah, it was really, see, really well developed. We literally see them mature on the screen because of whether it was a negative result of the decision or whether it was positive. We literally see them grow. So, love sucks, but it's also awesome at the same time. <laughs> so there you go. Love sucks, but it's awesome at the same <laughs> yeah. time. That's the bottom line. <laughs> That's my bottom line.